Back in 2020, I did a project where I turned a photo frame into a, a console computer for my G.I. Joes. I left that behind, so I decided I'm going to make another one. I start here on Pinterest and download some of these uh, graphics I found. If you're interested in my Pinterest board, in the description box below. I found some really cool looking graphics that I could use and turn into um, some screens for my uh, computer console. I made some screens that I'll upload into the photo frame. I created several to upload into the photo frame. That way I could change them when I wanted to. This photo frame is kind of interesting. There's a small uh, section around the frame that is uh, touch sensitive. Also has two SD card slots and a USB slot. I think I'm going to move the SD card into this one. It doesn't stick out as much as the one on the side. And this is just a, a small SD card, 32 gig, so it should hold plenty of pictures. And there's several different options to hang it on the wall, which I will be using one of those um, when I hang it. And I put a small dot here to show me where the uh, touch sensitive area is because I plan to tear these stickers off. And it's very easy to cycle through these uh, photos to get the ones I want. All I have to do is peel these stickers off and uh, it'll uh, look pretty good. I have this snack board that I'm going to use to mount the um, photo frame on. I just have to cut off a few pieces with my hobby saw. To mark the location where the photo frame is going to sit on the two nails, I'm going to measure a center between the two uh, screw holes and then match it up with a piece of paper and poke a couple of holes in the paper. And this will help, help match up the holes where the screws are going to go. The screws poke out of the side or the back side a little bit, which is not a problem. I can eventually cut them off if I want to. Screws match up really nicely and fit right into it. I'm going to mount this onto a couple of uh, Pringles cans. Kind of match the same uh, set. So I measure the width of the board that's going to slide in between the two Pringles cans. And then cut them using my little hobby knife. It helps having a sharp blade, and the sharp blade cuts through the paper tubing really well. And then this will just sit into the in between the two Pringles cans. I think it'll make it uh, give it a nice look. I'll cover the top with cardboard. That way, it uh, gives it more of a clean look. I think this project's looking good so far. After mounting the photo frame to the uh, Pringles cans, I noticed that it. Uh, little top heavy. I have these two bean bags that came probably from a cornhole game that I'm going to stuff into these. That'll help it uh, give it some weight so it doesn't flop forward. It's at a perfect height where they could reach it and I'll probably tuck the power cord back uh, in the back somewhere. My first idea was to, hold, to hide the power cord but I don't think that really matters. To cover the top of the Pringles cans I just use them to create a couple of circles onto a piece of cardboard and cut the cardboard out. I'll have to notch out the small area here where the, where the board is going to sit. I cut the cardboard pieces in half and this will go on the top. All I have to do is fill in this other small bit and it should be good to go. Use black duct tape to hold those pieces in and keep them from moving. I'm going to cover the cans with the uh, aluminum tape, kind of match the other uh, pieces of the um, Operation Command Center. This turned out really well. I like how it looks. The silver aluminum tape really matches the rest of the command center. I added a couple of lights back here behind the frame to give some extra light to the Operation Command Center. And this is very easy to cycle through the uh, different photos to get a one that I want uh, for certain photo stories.
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was a, another fun project to do. I hope you enjoyed the photo slideshow of the uh, Operations Command Center and, and it's full complete. I'll do more reviews on the other uh, projects as I finish them up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. See you in the next video.